morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? So this morning, we want to talk about something called the Beatitudes. Do you guys know what the Beatitudes are? Who knows what the Beatitudes are? Who knows what the Beatitudes are? Craig, what's the Beatitudes? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so the blessings. What else? Blessed are the meek. Yeah, so there was a time in Jesus' ministry when he went up on a mountain and he began to preach to people. And in the book of Matthew, there's a list of things that he says about what it means to be blessed. Now for me, I often wonder, like Jesus came to, to tell us about the kingdom of heaven, and I often wonder, like, well, what is that like? What's it like? What is, what's the kingdom of heaven like? And so Jesus spent a lot of time trying to tell people what the kingdom of heaven was like. And the Beatitudes are a list of, I don't even know how many, 10 or 11 different ways that we are blessed. And what's it mean to be blessed? Melissa, do you know what that means? Okay. Used to, but we forgot. <laughs> Lindsay. What's it mean to be blessed? <laughs> okay, one answer. When we sneeze. <laughs> we get blessed, right? So when someone says, I'm blessed, what do you think that means? Want to give that a chunk? No? Want to give that a chunk? Okay, I feel blessed when I realize it's like a feeling of gratitude, right? Like I realize I really have something that's good. It's like a favor or a gift from God. So I wanted to read a couple of the Beatitudes. And by the way, I could not figure out where that name came from, where Beatitudes came from. But this is like the only place that it's used. So Jesus was on was giving his sermon for them. So for instance, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What's it mean to be meek? So you gotta get one of these. What do you think? What's it mean to be meek? Clissa is demonstrating it right now. <laughs> she is being meek. Right? So when we're meek, we're humble. Perhaps put our, side, our own selves aside. We're, we're, we're cautious or tentative. Now, isn't it odd that Jesus would say, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth? Because if we look out in the world, who seems to be inheriting the earth? The bold, the loud, the proud. But Jesus kind of turned that upside down. Like the ones who are blessed are actually those who are willing to be humble, to be meek. Let's do another one. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Riley, you're nodding. What's a peacemaker, Riley? Yeah, someone who's good and spreads peace. Have you ever been a peacemaker? Thank you. Yeah? You have to be a peacemaker? Why? Oh, your school has a rule to be a peacemaker? Huh, so when there's an argument, or people are picking on each other, you could actually help bring peace. Right? That never happens. But Jesus let us know, that's a blessed thing to do. That's actually creating God's kingdom on earth. I'm looking to see if I have another good one here. Carter, how are you doing? Okay, blessed are the merciful. Mike, what's it mean to be merciful? <laughs> what's it mean to be merciful? Okay, good, all right, all right. Lifeline, what's it mean to be merciful? Forgiving. So even when someone does something to you, or someone seems to be unjust, 
or someone seems to be wrong, it's actually having a big enough heart to create a big enough space that we love them anyway. We show mercy. Like what? Oh, the Grinch. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, like uh, the Grinch. We melt our hearts and we really show mercy. Okay, so one, law, one other point. I would like you to think, remember the, the word beatitude. Now, because I think of it as it's if you get to be, it's a be attitude. It's how I'm going to, it's an attitude toward how I'm going to be. So this would say, I can choose to be merciful. I can choose to be a peacemaker. I can choose to be humble. You can do the opposite. I think what Jesus was t teaching us is that it's very easy to do the opposite. That comes naturally. But we actually, in spite of what happens, we get to choose how we're going to be about it. So let's say a word of prayer. We can go to connect. Lord, thank you for your teachings. Thank you for doing the very best you could to help us understand what God's kingdom looks like. And remind us that we can always choose how we're going to be in any situation. Jesus' name. Amen.